As we look at Georgia's numbers, we see 35 deaths were reported just today. Many of you are asking, though, why that number is seemingly relatively low compared to the growing number of total cases. Investigator Rebecca Lindstrom took that question to the experts. If you look at Georgia's COVID-19 related deaths since our first was reported back in mid-March, you'll see we've had a series of spikes. But in the past two weeks, it looks as if our number of deaths is finally trending down, as if the virus were less deadly than earlier in the pandemic. Doctors say, well, some of that could be true, since younger people at less risk for complication are a growing slice of cases, and hospitals have made some improvements in their treatment strategies. It's likely not the full story. That's because of the time it usually takes from when a person tests positive to when they die, to when their death is reported and certified by a state health department. It's what's known as a lagging indicator, and Emory epidemiologist Carlos Del Rio says the risks are still real. The data is very, very clear. COVID is about 20 times deadlier than the flu. So yes, it's like the flu, but 20 times worse. And in particularly, if you happen to be over the age of, of of 65, in particular, if you happen to be diabetic or, or have obesity or hypertension. Del Rio says death trends can fluctuate greatly from day to day, and often the clearest picture is looking back at them weeks later. It's also why we, along with health officials, monitor several different metrics to get the best idea of what's going on. The bottom line, coronavirus cases are increasing right now, but we won't know how deadly this wave will be for weeks to come.